we have created the EFS file system, what I want to do is now to mount that EFS file system in EC2 instance. So we can open this, and there is already uh, Amazon EC2 mount instruction. I'm using a local VPC, that means the VPC for the EFS is the same as the VPC for the EC2 instance. So the first instruction is that make sure that the VPC security group has access to that EFS file system. So in this case, I have an EC2 instance that I want to mount uh, this one. And the security group here is only this one. And it does not have access to the EFS here. So what I will do is that I want to create a new security group that allows access to this uh, EFS file system. So I will now create a new security group. And I will uh, create uh, EFS uh, okay, accessible, or maybe I will say that EFS model. And I will make sure that inbound group from that security group here, and I will say this is the protocol, must be NFS. And the source is from that security group here. Uh, I need to type this one. C2. Okay. Now this means that uh, it will accept inbound connections from the security group of the EC2 instance. Okay. Oh, I need to put description here. So after creating this new security group, I have this EFS model which allows access. Now I will need to enable or add that security group to my EFS. Okay, so for all of that, I will add this here. Okay. I will save it. So now the EC2 instance will have access to this uh, EFS file system. Okay. So next, I will connect using SSH. Okay. Now I will connect to my EC2 instance. See what is my instance? Okay. So this is my instance. Okay, so after I've connected, what I will do is I make sure that I have the Amazon EFS utils. Okay, and then I can mount the file system. So for example, I want to mount this uh, here, so I will create a directory where I want to mount that file system, and then all I have to do is I want to mount ntefs, and then this file system identifier to the folder that I have created. And if everything went well, and this will be okay, no errors. 
and then I can begin to use this file system okay so let me check this out if I have done this correctly then that means I can now create files from this uh, to this file system for example I want to uh, let's say download a file maybe some big file let's see I want to download maybe resource to decode okay let's see and okay let's see if I have this direct download link and I want to download this file oh I don't have this one Download link. Okay. Surely this can be any file. Just trying to get something to fill. Oh, I need to put sudo there because it's mounted as root. Okay, now I have a file here, VS Code. And so I can refresh this. And uh, I think this is, uh, this will be updated. I think maybe once every hour. But now we can use the file system as uh regular files okay we can delete this as well and we can put any file that we want sorry okay okay so that's how to mount it and if you want to unmount it manually, you can uh, use it like usual and mount it back as always. The file is still there. Thank you very much.